right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we shall discuss on why to study the shrimad bhagavatam the greatness of this vast book this literature and why we should study each and every verse with rapt attention and study all the 18000 verses which are there all right so today i will be uh, sharing a funny story about a decoit who's entire life got transformed not only he his entire family was transformed his entire generation the entire community got transformed all right so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description box below please go there and see and then mail me accordingly all right and before i begin as i must say today god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there just like he was there for the decoy <laughs> all right so uh, this story will show what happens if you no no not what happens if you read the shrimad bhagavatam it will show you what will happen if you just hear <laughs> for 30 seconds or maybe for one moment or for a minute yes what happens if you hear the shrimad bhagavatam yes not what happens if you hear the entire bhagavatam that is for you to decide but this will tell you what will happen if you just hear somehow by mistake if you just hear it yes even unintentionally if you hear it so basically there was a decoit once and he was born in a generation of decoits as they call in hindi na parampara <laughs> he had a entire tradition of uh, decoits and his father grandfather great grandfather everybody was a decoit and he was very faithfully loyally like a obedient servant following the tradition of his uh, forefathers and he used to rob people kill people murder rape do whatever it takes just to get money from people and he would terrorize everybody in the universe just like hiranyakashyap had terrorized yes <laughs> so then what happened is when he was born his grandfather <laughs> had told him who was the leader of the decoits leader of the decoit community had told him that my dear grandson whatever you want to do in this life you are free to do i have nothing to tell you except one thing never ever 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 hear anything from this book the shrimad bhagavatam never hear anything never ever if you have a choice that you want to die or you want to do, uh, hear the shrimad bhagavatam then you should select the option of death which means better to die than to hear from this book yes because it seems the grandfather knew the potency of this book because it's obvious that if you would start hearing from this book then you would not remain a dacoit anymore so he was inculcated with these values from the very days of his childhood yes that please do not listen to this book any any shloka even one syllable don't don't just listen just forget it yes the moment you see this run away from there never ever listen to this and then he very faithful used to obey this instruction and he always guarded his ears whenever he used to pass by any satsang or any religious community or any religious festival whenever he used to walk he used to make sure that he never ever heard anything from the bhagavatam but then one fine day he stole a very big diamond yes and then what happened <laughs> he was running 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 and the way, when he was running the police the fbi went behind him <laughs> federal bureau of investigation yes so the fbi was behind him and then what happened he was running saving his life but he understood today i will not be able to save myself today i will be caught by the police and the police had their bmws their rolls royce cars yes and they were running yes and then he was terrorized but then suddenly nearby his village he saw that there is a satsang program going on yes and then it was there in front of that program there was a banner which said shrimad bhagavatam is been discussed here <laughs> and then this uh, decoid was taken aback he thought oh my god 
the only place I can hide is in this function where they are discussing Bhagavatam. And if I do not sit here, I will perish because the police will catch me and then they will put me in jail forever. And then he was caught up in this dilemma of what to do. Should he go or should he stay? And then finally, he decided that it's about my life and death. So, better let me sit here. I will not hear anything. I will just sit. And then to protect his life, he went and sat there in between the crowd. And he, as soon as he sat, the speaker of the Bhagavatam class announced that, so today we come to the end of our Bhagavatam class and tomorrow we will discuss on the next sloka. So as soon as he heard this, he was very happy. He was like, oh, today I will also, I, I, uh, my life also got spared and I did not hear anything from the Bhagavatam also. But then the speaker also said, but if any of you from the public have any questions, you can ask me. I will try my best to answer them. And then there was one person beside him. He raised his hands and he asked a question. So, my dear sir, what are the symptoms of a person or of a living being who is from the higher planetary systems? Yes, which means he is above the Bhuloka. So, what are the symptoms? How do you physically recognize and physically identify? So then what happened? This dacoit was so tired, he could not control himself. And the moment he heard the question, he went to sleep. <laughs> because he was very tired running after the police. Yes, I mean running from the police. And then what happened? This speaker answered that question. So the speaker said, if you want to know if somebody is from a higher planetary system, just check three things. He or she will not have a shadow which falls in the ground. Yes. <laughs> and then that person's, the eyebrows, these eyelids will not blink like this. It will be straight. <laughs> and then the, what was the other symptom? The other symptom was that that person's feet will be above the ground yes three symptoms and then what happened this dacoit who was sleeping he almost went to sleep but he was in that semi state he was neither awake nor asleep yes and then somehow that those three points went inside his head and then he fell asleep and then some other people also started asking some questions and then long time passed and then the Sapta, Bhagavad Sapta, the religious function finally got over. And then what happened? The police was starting to come back from where they went. Yes. And then they, while coming, they saw that, oh, this thief is sleeping here, this dacoit. So they caught him by the neck and they took him and put him in the jail. And then what happened? They started beating him as they say, no, third degree treatment <laughs> in the terminology of police. And then what happened? They tried their best to take it out from his mouth that, yes, you are the one who have stolen this diamond and tell us where you have kept it. Yes, this is not an ordinary diamond which you have stolen. So then this thief, this dacoit, kept his word and he said, no, 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 I have not stolen. <laughs> I have not taken the diamond. The diamond is not with me. I don't know where is the diamond. Because he, he had hid it somewhere. But then there was the priest for the king. Yes, he was the, like, Vashishtha Muni was there for Dasrat Maharaj and for Lord Ram. So like that, the king also had a priest, Raj Purohit, as they say. So then what happened? This priest said to the king that, I know this family. They are... Dacoits from generations, but they are worshippers of goddess Durga, somehow. <laughs> Dacoits also worshipping demigods. <laughs> maybe this story is not from Kali Yuga, maybe the FBI and the CIA were from some other Yugas, maybe, maybe, who knows. So then what happened? They said that, if you want that, this person speaks the truth, you have to somehow bring goddess Durga in front of him and then he will confess everything. But then the king 
asked how in the universe do you bring god as durga now <laughs> how is that possible and then the priest said oh, we don't have to bring the real god as durga we can just take any girl or any lady who looks quite good yes and then we can make her dress as if she's god as durga and then we can make her stand in front of this person in the tomorrow morning and then she can act and behave as if she is goddess duga and then she can ask him so where have you kept the diamond i am your ishta devi i am asking you and then this dacoit will say oh yes this is goddess duga i know where i have kept it i have kept it there and then as soon as he speaks it we will catch him from the back and we will hang him to death yes because those days the punishment was very severe so then they decided that we will make somebody as durga devi and we will send her to this thief to this dacoit and then the next day morning they found a very beautiful lady and she was decorated <laughs> with red color sari with a trishul in the hand and what not god knows and then next day morning this dacoit opened his eyes and suddenly goddess durga was there in front of him <laughs> and he was shocked to see this he was taken aback he was jolted suddenly out of nowhere goddess durga has appeared and then goddess durga so called durga said oh i am very happy by your prayers which you always have offered to me you and your generation they are my greatest devotees so today i will free you from all your suffering pain sorrow and misery and i will arrange that you go out of this terrible prison but the only condition is you have to tell me the truth where you have kept the diamond yes and then this thief he was very intelligent <laughs> then what happened he was thinking how suddenly god has to guys appeared man how is it possible i mean uh, suddenly out of nowhere yes so then suddenly what happened he remembered that question which was asked in that bhagavat sapta where he was sitting where he was in the semi sleep state and then suddenly he remembered that oh there the speaker had answered that if there are three symptoms then only that person is from the higher planetary systems and if they are not manifesting then that means that person is from this planetary system only he or she is not a heavenly being or a higher being and then he recalled somehow he recalled and he did everything during this time yes in the morning and then he recalled the first sign the first symptom was that the feet will not touch the ground but then this durga devi's feet was right there on the ground <laughs> and the second symptom was that the uh, the eyebrows will not blink yes as they say in hindi i think palak jhapakna <laughs> so that was also happening she was going on doing like this <laughs> and then he was rest assured and her shadow was also falling on the ground because the sun was rising and the shadow was falling so he understood this is not goddess durga this is just another lady <laughs> and they have made this trap to record my voice and then send it to the forensic lab for analysis and then they will hang me till death that's the trick so he very intelligently said my dear goddess durga i have not stolen the diamond i don't know where the diamond is <laughs> i have absolutely no idea because i was not the one who stole it yes and then this goddess durga became very angry <laughs> because she was assured by this pandit that he will he will effortlessly speak it yes so she, so she could not imagine that this person will reject and then this goddess durga became very angry she said don't lie tell me the truth where you have kept it <laughs> and then he insisted on saying no 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 i have not stolen i have not stolen i have not stolen and then finally goddess durga became very disappointed and she left that place yes in terrible agony my god she was in severe distress maybe she was thinking they will cut my pay this time <laughs> because i have not been able to achieve the task yes as in corporate scenarios they say the task is not achieved so no no money for this month <laughs> or maybe no promotion for the next quarter so then this person thought my god i am safe today and then 
this durga devi <laughs> lady actually went to the priest and the king and she said oh this person is telling that he has not stolen any diamond and then this priest said oh if he is telling this to goddess durga that means he has not stolen it he is innocent send him out of the prison maybe somebody else has stolen it and then the king also said okay if this is what you feel then so be it release him from the prison and then the king ordered and this criminal this dacoit who had stolen the priceless diamond he was sent out of the jail and he was made free all the papers were dismissed his registration number was deleted from the database and then finally he took a deep breath and he went home and the moment he went home there was celebration <laughs> and then he halted the celebration there and then he said to everybody because on the way to his home he was thinking i did not hear any shloka from the bhagavatam i did not hear any verse any syllable any word nothing i heard i don't even know what is there in the bhagavatam but just by the one answer of a question which was asked that to that was not directly related to bhagavatam it was some off track it was a off track question which was asked so by hearing that if i could my life was spared today from being hanged <laughs> so what would have happened if i would have heard one shloka of the bhagavatam or if i would have heard the bhagavatam for one minute because the moment he went in the uh, in that place the class was over and then he thought what would have happened if i would have attended that class for 5 minutes <laughs> what would have happened if i would have attended the entire class my god where i would have been <laughs> and what would have happened if i would have regularly attended the class every day as in shrimad bhagavatam it is said nityam bhagavata seva means reading and hearing the bhagavatam every day yes not today not tomorrow not on sundays not on thursdays nityam bhagavat seva means every day nityam means every day without fall without uh, without fail and then he decided what would have happened if i would have been associated with this book since my childhood <laughs> maybe i would have become a great saint and i would have preached spirituality all over the globe and i would have delivered so many people including myself and my family and then he took this resolution that from tomorrow or no, not from tomorrow from today no not from today from now itself all the demonic activities closed his entire disciplic succession the entire parampara of his dacoits he dismantled it and then <laughs> he brought from amazon.com the copy of shrimad bhagavatam and then he started reading and then his entire family his entire dynasty entire village became spiritual and then one fine day he went to the king and he surrendered this diamond <laughs> and then the king said oh what you uh, said to durga devi that uh, you did not take it then he said no no i knew she was not durga that is why i said like this and then the king was so happy that such a divine transformation this person has undergone and then the king also pardoned his sins and he also declared everything that he had stolen from people and then he went to every person personally and he fell at their feet and he begged forgiveness and he apologized with tears in his eyes that please forgive me i have done so much negative i have done so many bad things to you he approached each and every lady who he had molested who he had raped and he fell at their feet and he begged forgiveness and by seeing this transformation all the men whose money he had looted all the ladies whose honor he had violated all of them unanimously forgave him and the entire community was transformed and the <laughs> parampara of dacoits was not to be seen anymore all the dacus <laughs> they became great uh, paramahamsas they became greatly elevated spiritual beings yes and then they started spreading this holy name and the message of the shrimad bhagavatam in the entire universe and that's how the dacoit lived the rest of his life so called dacoit as i say that 
every saint had a f uh, past and every sinner has a future yes so this is the sinner who had the best future and later on maybe he became a saint also so i don't know further details on this all right so this is what i wanted to say that uh, the entire society of decoits got transformed we are not that bad at least that we have raped somebody or we have stolen from somebody or we have murdered somebody yes maybe we have done something but we are not that bad after all if i'm very sure those of you who are watching this video you are not that bad that you have done any of those things which that dacoit has done so if that dacoit can undergo such a transformation then i think we can also definitely undergo all right so that is it from my side this is what i wanted to say that this dacoit did not hear anything from the bhagavatam and even then his whole life was spared so what will happen if we just read the shrimad bhagavatam every day and hear and listen and also share it and spread it with those people who we are connected to the entire universe will be benefited there will be there's no way how you can measure the greatness of this book yes as it is said amalam puranam sarvabhuta pramana chakravarti this is the crest jewel of all the scriptures which vyasdev had written at his highest level of spiritual maturity after he had written all the vedas the puranas upanishads the itihasas the sutras the tantras the yantras the pujas the mudras everything he wrote and then finally he was like no man there's something missing <laughs> all right so i will be putting videos on this series this is my bhagavatam so i had put one video earlier the introduction if you have not watched it then go and watch it and now further i'll be continuing on this playlist all right so until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and yes the last thing i wanted to say i forgot i should have said this in the beginning of the video is this sunday 6th may i will be recording a session with the great vishti larsen yes 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 he is very famous and vishti larsen will be speaking on the topic marriage we have exactly not decided on the topic but when we were talking uh, the last sunday he said that the topic could be how to time the beginning and ending of marriage just using venus yes so that would be the topic i guess so i am very excited and i am i can't control my excitement actually <laughs> so i'll be recording he said the session will be for around 90 minutes so let's see how far it goes and then i will be uploading it in two parts all right so stay tuned the first part i will upload on 6th may sunday so sunday morning there will be no video in the afternoon you will get this video all right part 1 with vishti larsen okay until next time wish you good luck and keep reading and spreading the knowledge of the bhagavatam to everybody okay bye bye see you Thank you.